Hi, Tactical here. Today we're going to be talking about hard plates, plate carriers, and how to install them. But before I continue, I want to give a shout out to F1 Firearms for giving me this hat and uh, sending us a t-shirt. So this is our uh, Tactical body armor here. This is uh, AR500 steel. This is rated 3+, plus, meaning it can stop up to a armor piercing 308 round. Um, it has a little bit of spalding protection on there, but it seems pretty thin. There's the plate, pretty good weight. Um, there's the uh, description on it. It's pretty funny, a lot of times these things say that they, their shelf life is like 25 years or something, or 20 years, here we go. Shelf life is 20 years, so in 20 years, the integrity of the steel will break down and it will no longer stop bullets. I don't think that's true. I think that's just for liability purposes. This particular kit, this Tactical Scorpion gear, is actually a pretty cool system here. With the kit comes these trauma plates that you put behind the hard plate. And that's gonna greatly reduce the impact on your body when, when, you, when you take a hit from one of these guys. And um, getting punched with a 308 is definitely not fun. So in the military, I had ceramic plates, which were considerably thicker, but a lot lighter. Uh, well, not a lot lighter, maybe two pounds lighter or so after all kitted out. Um, and there were three plus as well. But the problem with the ceramic plate as well is that multiple shots in the same area can actually get through them. So uh, these steel plates can take essentially thousands of rounds without any effect. Now, if you're on the other side of it and you're actually taking thousands of rounds, your heart won't survive. But, um, but you can definitely take three or four shots and the plate will be perfectly fine. So our friend AJ says that everyone should have body armor. Um, he sells body armor on his website. He does not sell this body armor on his website. Now I will mention that this trauma plate is really just a cheap piece of foam, which will help. I certainly will tell you that this will reduce uh, some of that impact. Will it reduce it in a significant way? I don't know. I think that there's some higher end products out there specific uh, engineered as trauma pads as opposed to this, this, this foam here, but, but it will help. All right, now let's talk about my kit. So I got an Warrior, a Warrior Assault uh, kit here. This is a pretty good kit. I really like this one. There's definitely more expensive stuff out there and stuff that's more mission specific. So you can get some lighter stuff, lighter kit. Um, this is a pretty bulky system here, but I really like it. So the reason I like this kit is because it pretty much does everything. So depending on how specific your mission is, um, you might want to get something a little bit more tailored to that uh, application. But for for me having something generic that I can run in pretty much every mission except for something covert, because um, this is pretty bulky, but uh, this guy's gonna go really well. I really like, so it has these really nice pads for the uh, shoulders here, so I can sit on me for quite some time. It has a nice little quick de detach right here, so if I have any injuries or problems, somebody can get to me by just clipping that up, unclipping that. Gets me pretty quickly. Um, it also, one of the really cool features as far as comfort and longevity is, uh, let me show you right inside here. this guy off. So all the way through the inside of this kit here is this what this kind of mesh, and this mesh is kind of like uh, like strings of fishing line, essentially woven together that form this uh, this trellis inside here. That's very very open for breathability. So when sweat gets in this thing, when you get hot. It definitely is, has a ton of breathability and then also has a ton of cushion so it reduces any friction points and can be worn for hours and hours, days, weeks um, with relative comfort. I really like that. So this thing cost about $230 I think on AR500. Uh, One of the th other things I like about it is it has molly all the way through and so that gives you a lot of options. Molly and then the Velcro. Uh, one of the things that I always want on a plate carrier is a handle. So this one's pretty cool because it's um, Velcroed down, makes it a little bit easier to kind of hide away. But if anybody needs to get a hold of me to drag me 
Um, if I want to attach to something, uh, just go ahead and got, I got that handle right in the back and they can pull me and move me and that makes their job a lot easier, increases my survivability. Another cool thing about this particular kit is it has these two little Velcro loops right here which are great for storing lines on a radio or camelback. So when you run a camelback, you got a water line, you can put it right through here, or you can also just Velcro it in here to keep it out of the way. They work great for that. Got my admin pouch here. So for your admin pouch, most of you guys probably won't be running one of these. They're not that big of a deal. But if you're doing any leadership type stuff, if you're a team leader or a squad leader or even a platoon sergeant, you're going to want to have your maps in here. You're going to want to have your mission specific information in here. If there's anything, um, uh, any light equipment or detailed stuff you want to hold on to here, maybe like a laser range finder would be a good place to put it. That kind of stuff um, in your admin pouch. I like to rub my admin pouch a little bit off to the side because sometimes there's some sensitive stuff in there. So if I'm going to run and fall on my, my stomach uh, to do a prone position, I don't want that getting crushed. I keep my magazines in the front. Now, it's not fun laying on magazines, but they tend to be okay. Um, if I'm going to do a ton of prone stuff and I know that's part of the mission, I'm going to take that guy and move it to the side. Um, and that way I'll have better access to my magazines and they won't be cumbersome on the front there. So now that I've talked about my gear and how I have it laid out, we're going to go ahead and install these plates. All right, so here's the front plate area right there. We're just going to go ahead and come underneath here. And usually there's going to be a little Velcro tab on your plate carrier here. Open that guy up. Now it's very important that you get the right size plates for your plate carrier. Some plate carriers take multiple sizes, but make sure that you do your research first. <clears throat> so these guys should be... 12 by 10 plate carriers, right? Yep, 10 inch by 12 inch plate carriers. Okay, they're plates. So these guys are 10 by 12 plates, and this is a 10 by 12 plate carrier. Slides right in there, no problem. Take that trauma pad, put that right behind it. Take that Velcro. Fold that around real nice and tight. Now it's important when you do this that you keep the, um, the bottom of your plate carrier up and the top of your plate carrier down so gravity pushes the plates deep into your plate carrier. Otherwise you're going to have a big gap at the top. <clears throat> there we go. That first one is nice and tight and installed. So on my back plate here, we've got where the plate goes going to be in here. Make sure that you face it the correct way. This side towards the, it says body side right there, so it makes sense. It also has that natural curve, so it's going to curve towards the body. Make sure it's all the way down in there. Now for the trauma pad in the back, there's another pocket here. You can go ahead and put that in that pocket. Now if you have any soft body armor and you wanted to have a soft body armor pocket and then your and use your soft body armor as a trauma pad and then have your hard body armor your hard plate on the outside um, and then for if you want to kit a little bit lighter if you know what you're that your threat is most likely going to be pistol fire you can take your hard plates out and not have to deal with uh, whether or not you have soft body armor in there all right so for the side plates make sure that you go with the curve of your body let's go ahead and pull out that extra fabric. So I got these extra long ones. Instead of the six by sixes, I got the six by eights. We're gonna go ahead and strap that in just like that. So this particular plate carrier can accommodate both the six by six and the six by eights. Come to this side over here, reach inside, grab our release tab, open up the Velcro, put that guy in there. And for this particular rig, I'm gonna leave the trauma plates out for the sides, for the side uh, plates, just for comfort and keep the sweat off me. Also, as well as, um, well, if I get shot in the side, I get shot in the side. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna talk about how much it weighs. Definitely pretty hefty, but for, to be an armored human being, you can take bullets to the chest. It, uh, you know, you gotta get, 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 it's gotta be a little heavy. 
Um, there are lighter plates out there. I wouldn't necessarily recommend them. I really like the hard steel. I think that works fantastic and they're not that much lighter. All right, so before I weigh 193 pounds and while holding the plate carrier, Two hundred and eighteen point four pounds, which is a difference of eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-five pounds. Great job. So I'm two hundred. I'm not even wearing the mic. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Mm. So now that we figured out that this thing weighs approximately 23 pounds kitted out, that's without any ammo or anything in here, um, <clears throat> we're going to show you how to put it on. So at 23 pounds, it's definitely not the easiest thing to just throw over your shoulder like a, like a hoodie. But so what you're going to do is um, lift it, it's got this little tab here, lift that up, it's got a nice little handle here, open that up to get into the side, put this guy on like this. Lift it over your head. And there it is. Well, then we gotta put this back on. All right, so now, now I just grab this little handle right here, which is pretty convenient. Lift up my tab here, put it on nice and tight. Okay, okay. So when fitting a flak, make sure that your straps are at a length that keeps that all the way up to the beginning, the, right at the crook of your neck. You want your, your plate carrier to be really high. It's really important. So I know that AR500 has some plate cuts that have a little bit more of an aggressive cut here to give yourself a little bit more room for your butt stock your fire, of your firearm as you lift it up. Um, but it seems to be working all right. It's got good coverage, uh, you know, good shoulder press. Good. Present that firearm out. Yeah, not too bad. My right handed. Yeah, there we go. A little bit cumbersome in there, but I can get the get it up pretty good.